Hi, I am Sarah Ganeshan. Today I will show how to determine the transformation of analyte using Nernst equation. This is the Nernst equation. Nernst equation is used to find the cell potential under non-standard conditions. In this, E is the cell potential. E naught is the cell potential under standard condition. Standard condition in the sense cell potential measured at 1 molar concentration, 1 atmospheric pressure and 25 degrees centigrade. N is the number of electrons involved, R is the gas constant, T is the temperature, F is the fire. In the numerator, it is the concentration of the reactant and in the denominator, it is the concentration of the product. If we interchange them, this sign changes. In this experiment, we are going to construct a reduction half cell in which copper purpose is reduced to form copper. So, copper purpose is the reactant and copper is the product. When you substitute, you will get a net situation like this. To begin the experiment, you need a potentiometer, you need a copper electrode, you need a caramel electrode and copper sulfate solutions. Among the copper sulfate solution, first prepare 0.1 molar copper sulfate solution first. While making up of this solution, add 5 molar acetic acid into that. Addition of acetic acid will suppress the hydrolysis of copper sulfate. Once the, this solution is prepared, you dilute it to form 0 0.01, 0 0.02 and 0 0.05 molar copper sulfate solution. Once these solutions are ready, this is unknown copper sulfate solution. So, before beginning the experiment, first switch on this experiment, switch on this instrument. Uh, this potentiometer has an input standard cell. To calculate this, adjust this knob towards standard. It should show a value of 1.018 volts. Once the instrument is calibrated, change the knob towards ready. Now, connect both the electrodes with the instrument. And add approximately 50 ml of 0 0.01 molar copper sulfate solution into this. It shows a potential of 0 0.018 volts. Just noting them. Once this measurement is completed, discard this solution, wash the beaker at the electrode with distilled water, then take 0 0.02 molar solution. Rinse the beaker and the electrode, then discard the solution and add 50 ml and measure it again. Like this, all the concentration you measure it. So, you will get for all the concentration, you can find the E cell values. Now, there are two ways you can directly plot the log of concentration of copper plus against the E cell, or you can calculate the single electrode potential of copper and from that you can find the concentration. We choose the second one. To find the single electrode potential of copper, here we are using a caramel electrode and a copper electrode. Uh, caramel electrode acts as an anode and copper electrode acts as a cathode. So E cell value is E right minus E left or E copper minus E standard caramel electrode. This is the So to find E copper, you rearrange the equation and substitute the value. For each and every concentration, you substitute it. For 0.01 molar solution, you substitute this value. Uh, cell potential of standard caramel electrode is 0.244. This value we have already measured. You find the single electrode potential of copper at 0 0.01 molar solution. You get this value. Likewise, you measure for all the concentration, find the single electrode potential of copper. Then you will get a table like this. Here, this is large concentration of copper, copper plus ion. You take it is on the x axis and single electrode potential of copper on y axis, you will get a graph like this, you will get a straight line. This is the E copper value of unknown solution. To draw a straight line, it meets this graph at some point. Again, to draw a straight line. Here, if you find the anti of this value, you will get the concentration of unknown copper surface solution. Like this, Next equation is used to find the concentration of unknown copper surface solution. Thank you.